There's now a new way to play Crunker on your phone. It's made for stable FPS and you can customize your control layout anytime you want. Introducing Crunker Client for mobile. And this is the official client. This app was made by yours truly, Feels Good Man, and had full support from the Crunker dev team. I should also announce that I am thrilled to have joined the Crunker team. More on that later, but right now let's talk about the Crunker Client for mobile. It's available right now on the Google Play Store if you have Android, and if you're on iOS, um, it's not available yet. I will be developing an iOS iOS version of this as well. As you can see from the footage, I have gotten really good performance and really stable frame rates, but um, as with any beta, there will be bugs, but I'll be walking you guys through everything you need to know about um, getting the best experience out of this. You might be wondering um, why another Crunker app isn't there already the Crunker Hub? The way that I see it is that there's a different purpose for the Crunker Hub app and the Crunker client. For example, the Hub app, it's designed in portrait mode, which is how most people use their phones. So it's really great for um, browsing the market, browsing social. One of the limitations of the Crunker Hub app was um, not being able to adjust your control settings while you're in a game. So that's where the Crunker client for mobile comes in. And the approach for this app is really just, um, just take what's good about Crunker, just that experience of loading up and being in a game right away, but also giving you everything that was missing from a complete mobile FPS. And that it also addresses the small things about the browser base. For example, with the client, um, you're gonna get a full screen immersive view. I completely redesigned Crunker's in-game menu system. I took away a lot of elements and then um, made the buttons larger, easier to hit and um, put important elements on the right side of the screen so they're easier to access using your right thumbs. Also some preloading and plenty of optimizations, but this is definitely gonna be an ongoing process. Here's how it works. So just launch um, the app and then you'll land in the in-game menu. And as I mentioned before, it's redesigned. So you have um, the buttons that used to be at the bottom on the right. So it's easier to hit um, with your right thumb. And then there's like small optimizations where um, I moved the settings window up higher because um, the keyboard comes out. So if you're searching for things, so this floating button right here, it's basically always available and it lights up after you touch it and then it, it dims after a few seconds. So I'm going to open it up and I'll show you how easy it is to um, get your layout down. So let's start with the jump buttons. So I just drag that up and then scale it and I could do like multiple axis at the same time. And then crouch is next. So I'm going to go left and then up and then scale. And then let's move the aim out of the way because I'm going to use um, aim fire for the most part. And um, some people might miss like dragging buttons around. Um, but, you know, I played PUBG Mobile, um, got legendary in COD Mobile, and I find that I'm able to get my layout like a lot faster with this method and you know I can control more parameters that way so just uh, give it a chance your button layout it's going to save automatically even if you close the app um, you can also do this with the master opacity slider you can also adjust the um, levels of opacity individually but the master slider is super useful if um, you're plugging in a controller or a mouse and keyboard because you can just easily hide your layout going beyond that if you would like you could reset to the default settings for the layout and there's also a restart button. So the restart button, it's used for a number of things. Like, let's just say you wanna find a new lobby. You can just hit that button and there you have a new lobby. Or you change an in-game setting, like graphic settings. Um, you could just hit that restart button to apply the settings. Now, if you do encounter an error, the most common error is gonna be that black screen or white screen. You can just hit that restart button and um, it's likely going to resolve the issue. I'll go over a few more troubleshooting scenarios in a bit, but first I'm going to give you some general tips on getting the most out of the mobile client. Tip number one is the first few times that you play using the app, if you're on a limited data plan, I do recommend that you uh, play the first few games on Wi-Fi. Just like the desktop version of the game, um, the first few launches, you're going to be loading the latest assets, so performance is going to take a hit and network is going to be more used. Tip number two is host a custom lobby to nail down your button layout. Um, if you try to do this in a regular game, um, you're going to get kicked for being AFK. However, um, I do make really slight adjustments to my button layout all the time in a regular game. Tip number three is once you're fully done with your button layout, I do recommend taking a screenshot of it. The layout is saved automatically 
but um, it would be good to just back it up every once in a while. Now, in the next update, I will have a method where you can back up your settings um, via a clipboard. I already have the functionality working, but if you're one of the early adopters of trying out this app, uh, you might want to back up your settings via the screenshot. Tip number four is just general tips on how to use the opacity sliders. So if you want to disable or hide a button completely, um, if you want to hide it, just opacity down to zero. And to disable it, just scale it down to zero. I tested out the app using a Bluetooth keyboard and it works perfectly. Um, it does restart the game, I believe, when you connect it. Again, you can just use that master opacity slider to um, turn down all the buttons at the same time. The last tip is in regards to the draggable button. Um, so you can move it around, uh, move it anywhere you would like. If you want to exit the mobile tools window, there's two ways to do that. You can click on the draggable button again to toggle it on and off or you can click the back button on the mobile tools window. So that's all you really need to know. And next I'm gonna be talking about troubleshooting and some frequently asked questions. I spent a lot of time doing stability testing and compatibility testing. Sometimes I play for over an hour without any issues, but the number one most common problem is gonna be a blank screen. So a black screen or a white screen, but you can still see the mobile tools window. Um, parts of the game may still be rendered. If this does happen, um, it's most likely gonna occur right after you install the app. First thing is that you can try waiting a few seconds because I did add some fail safes that may allow the game to recover on its own. If that doesn't work, what you can do is try using that restart button. Um, and if that doesn't work, just force quit the app and then launch it again. In the future, I do believe that we can fully get rid of this bug, but it's literally the same bug that PC players have faced. But I do believe that it can be fully resolved in the future. And for now, um, just you know, restart the game, let the cache load and try again. Next thing I want to talk about is just a general troubleshooting tip and a thing that just may improve your experience of playing the game. And that's something called the Android System Web View. Um, so you have to go to your phone settings, go to your app settings, and then search for Android System Web View, see if there's an update available, and grab that update. If you happen to be encountering other issues um, with the app as well, then try clearing the cache of that web view. Go to your app settings. Um, find Android System Web View, go to storage, and then clear cache. So next, I want to talk about frame rates. Um, let's say that you're not getting as good frame rates as you see that I'm getting in this video. First thing is that a first few seconds after launch, um, it's natural to just get reduced frame rates as the latest assets load in. You're also going to get lower FPS if your internet connection is slower because they can be connected together like that. But here are a few settings that you can try out um, if you are having any frame rate issues. And the first is um, trying to disable lag compensation and also disabling particles and shadows. If you encounter a connection error, it might just mean that the AFK timer timed out and you got a connection error because of it, because sometimes you'll see that error from being AFK. And anything and let me know what you're dealing with and I'll do my best to address it directly. I see Crunker as having a really big future in mobile. All the really big gaming franchises do. The great thing about Crunker though is that it's kind of the ultimate cross-platform game because you've got Chrome OS, Android, PC, and all the rest. It's really going to help continue to grow the player base. And for existing PC players, it's a really fun way to hop on and play some games in between, um, you know, class or whatever. As some of you already know, I'm not only passionate about PC gaming, but also mobile gaming. Some people have told me in the past that I'm the only one that cares about Conquer Mobile, but now I think that a lot of people are quite interested in it. So that's why I'm so excited to join the Crunker team basically full time. It's just such an amazing opportunity and there's absolutely no way I could have gotten there without support from you, the subscribers and the viewers. So what does this mean for my YouTube channel? Don't worry, feels good man's gonna stay, of course. PC related videos are not going away. I also gotta be realistic, so the increased workload may lead me to post videos less frequently. I know that I wasn't posting that much about one video a week, but um, YouTube really is challenging, mainly because the algorithm just changes so much. So after thinking about it, I thought that this is a great path for me to pursue. Not only is it an awesome opportunity, but if you think about it, how else can you really do something like this for the long term? And uh, you know, being involved in gaming. And Crunker already led me to learn CSS and Java, so I'm definitely gonna go for it. I'm very lucky to have had the opportunity and also lucky to have you guys as the viewers and the fans. So that's it for now. If you have an Android phone, definitely let me know what you think. This has been Phil's Good Men, and I'll see you guys next time.